In this question, we're given a continuous time signal, VFT, and we're asked to find the discrete time version of this, VFN, after sampling, and from that, find the Z transform, VFZ. So we need to convert VFT from continuous time to discrete time, and then change VFN to its Z domain equivalent, VFZ. So the second step is simply a Z transform, and we can use the table for that. But the first step is actually a sampling process. And to do that, we need to replace T with N times uppercase T where uppercase t is 1 over the sampling rate. So in this case, it's 1 over 3,000. So we can write VFN as 5 sine 10 pi, and then instead of t, I replace it with n times uppercase t, or ts. So that I multiply it by n times uppercase t, which is 1 over 3,000. And I multiply all of that by a unit step, because we're told that it starts at t equals 0. So it's a causal signal. After sampling, it's a causal signal. So now, to find VFZ, I need to find the Z transform. And to do that, we can simply use the table. So we're looking for a sign. So we're looking for that expression there. So comparing the two, it looks like we have sine n omega, where omega if we cancel the 10 and the 0, the omega would be this pi over 3,000. That's my frequency. OK, so I can now write the Z transform as this expression here. So I'll keep the 5. So I'll say 5 times z times sine of omega divided by z squared minus 2z cosine omega plus 1, where omega is this expression here. and that's pi over 300. So the question was find the z-transform, v of z, and there it is. So that would be our final answer. Find v of z. We did that by first carrying out a sampling process, and that took v of t and converted it to v of n, and then we took VFN and converted that to VFZ, and we made use of the Z-transform table to do so.